Hi, welcome to the Smiling Tabby. Um, I'm sharing with you another one of my sticker collections. Um, bear with me, I'm trying to film this a new way today. So I'm looking at this backwards. So um, this album, it's it's already, um, it already says sticker stash on it. I bought it this way. Somebody I think might have used a Cricut um, machine to put the, the label on. And I either got it from eBay or Marketplace. So these are not vintage stickers, um, but there's different categories in here. So um, the first section is um, stickers for mostly like some bands that I really like, um, musical artists. So, and then some of them are also places. Um, so this first page has got, um, you know, a fish sticker from the band Fish. Um, Grateful Dead is a band I also really like. So, and when I went to Mount Snow up in Vermont, they had um, a number of um, Grateful Dead related stickers. So actually there's a few ski mountains that I've gotten Grateful Dead related stickers from. So um, moving on to the next page, um, this is just another Grateful Dead sticker. This is actually Dead and Company that I got at one of the shows. And then I have a few Stevie Nicks and Fleetwood Mac stickers, another one of my favorite bands. Um, so I don't know how much of this collection will appeal to all of you, but I just thought I'd like to share it. Um, I got the, this one, uh, in Jackson Hole, Wyoming from Teton Gravity Research. Um, and then here's another Mount Snow one. I hope you're able to see all these okay. And then moving on, here's another fish one. This is from the Summer Tour 2019. Um, and actually this one and this one are, um, are not stickers. They were just, I think, tags that I got from a Grateful Dead inspired um, apparel. So I used my Zyron to turn them into a sticker. Um, There's just another Stevie one. These, these um, five um, kind of tie-dye looking ones are actually um, just little note papers that I turned into stickers um, from my Zyron. So, oh, hold on. I just have to pause this for a second. My cat wanted to go out. So, um, and then same with this. Um, this is actually a ticket from a fish show. And in 2017, so I turned that into a sticker. Um, and a lot of these that I did get, I was able to get from, um, it's a website called Redbubble. They have a whole bunch of different stickers and they have other things too. They have posters and apparel. Um, some of these I bought from um, another sticker collector in one of the Facebook groups. Um, so still continuing on with like the whole Grateful Dead theme. You know, I've got a Jerry sticker here, a bunch of these um, bears in different colors. Um, these two are actually like a metal or enamel type of um, sticker. This is one I just made. I printed this out with the, um, you know, state of Vermont in the middle. And this one is a sheet of individual stickers um, from, it's inspired, actually it's by the same artist who did a limited edition collection of this same image um, for uh, posters that you could buy, or actually maybe you got them at the great, at the Dead and Company shows, but you had to be like a VIP. So um, even on the, you know, second, even on the secondary market, like eBay, trying to find this poster was hard. And even if you did, it was really expensive. So the artist is Emek, E-M-E-K. And I was able to, I think, get this sheet of stickers from his website. Um, the Samples is another band that I really like. They were popular in the 90s. Um, and then a lot of these stickers, like this one and these two, came from a, a website called Peacemonger. So if you like this kind of genre of stickers, it's www.peacemonger.org. Um, they had different ones for different states. So Connecticut, Maine, because I love Maine. They didn't have Vermont. I tried to get Vermont and they didn't have it. I think they sent me this one free because I did buy a lot from them. Um, in this one, it's hard to see, but it says Grateful Dead 1965-2005. This is the kind of sticker that you'd put in a window, like at your home or in your car, like your back window of your car. Um, so it's kind of like a reverse image. Um, 
and these are just some more that I got from Peacemonger. Like this one's uh, 2004. This one's, uh, this image is from 96. Um, this is a Jerry Garcia image from 96 as well. Here's some more Jerry ones, 96. No date on this. Um, these are just a couple little um, fun ones from Peacemonger. These are actually two um, patches. I don't remember where I got them. This is the Sugar Skull. A lot of people like those. Um, just another one I made. Some more um, bears and the more Steal Your Face stickers. Here's a couple fish ones. Um, there's multiple sheets of these bear ones in here. Um, they're really sweet. And then Twiddle's another band I like. They're out of Vermont originally. And so this is just a sticker I made. Um, their spring 2019 tour. And I saw them in New Haven. I guess I put that ticket stub in there twice. Here's another one from Mount Snow, but it's like Pink Floyd inspired. Um, and then this is my Stevie page. Um, more of my Stevie Nicks stickers. Here's some more Stevie. Um, and at the bottom, Kate Bush is an artist that I really like too. Um, and another Twiddle. This you can't see because it's another one of those ones that go in the mirror uh, in the window. It's the band Umphreys McGee. And then um, I thought these were really cool. Snoop Dogg says 2020. And then up here it says, faux shizzle, let's party. So that's it for like my bands and music inspired ones. And now moving into just places. So um, a lot of these are from breweries in the beginning. So Hetty Topper, The Alchemist in Vermont, Fiddlehead in Vermont, Treehouse in um, Massachusetts, Who's a Tonic River Brewing in uh, Connecticut. We've just got some other places. Uh, this is for Washington County, Maine. Castleton is in Vermont. Here's a couple more from Treehouse. This is that bumper sticker that says this car climbed Mount Washington. Um, now a lot of these, well these right here, are from a collection that my boyfriend gave me from all different um, national parks. Uh, Ski the East is from him too. And then in 2019, my family and I went to uh, Wyoming and Montana. So I have a lot from there, including this Yellowstone one. Um, sorry for the swear, it's kind of covered up. Um, Stowe in Vermont, Stratton in Vermont. I liked this New Hampshire one, Live Free or Die. These are cute because they're, um, you know, Volkswagen bus inspired ones from all different ski mountains. More skiing ones, Stowe in Vermont, Okemo, Mount Snow. This one is, is cute. I got this in Stowe, but it just says the Green Mountains. And it has um, Champ, the supposed monster that lives in Lake Champlain. Uh, this I just got at a uh, a little um, kind of little general store. They had like a, a distillery tasting area. This is from Vermont too, the Von Trapp Brewing. And then here are some more places. So like I said, I went to Jackson Hole um, in Yellowstone. Also Prince Edward Island. There's a bunch from there too in Canada. Uh, Grand Tetons. This um, Sasquatch ones, it says, I believe, and it has JH for Jackson Hole. More PEI, more Jackson Hole, more Yellowstone. I'll try to go quicker because I don't know how interesting these are to most people. Um, a patch and this fun Canada sheet. I like how it's, um, you know, prismatic, I guess is the term prismatic. And this was a fun sheet in PEI, Prince Edward Island. So fun there. Um, at the top of Jackson, um, at the top of the mountain, there's a waffle place and, um, they had these stickers and I, I remember I bought it wishing it was, um, scratch and sniff because they were so yummy, but it's not. This is where I went to school in Vermont. These are just some fun fishing ones. And this is more of that collection from the national parks. Um, some of these I've been to, some I haven't yet. So, um, you know, some to put on my bucket list. And this collection of national park ones also had a bunch of just random ones kind of included. So I just popped them in here. So these, like I said, these aren't vintage stickers. These are just like kind of traveling ones. Zion National Park, the Everglades in Florida, Banff in Alberta, Canada. I'd love to go there. I just thought the artwork was really pretty on these. Um, 
It's just some more fun ones about exploring, getting outside, adventure. Okay, and then this is my just miscellaneous section. Um, this is from, uh, you know, a, a country fair in, in uh, Connecticut. Um, here's some more fishing ones. This is a, this actually is a vintage one. This is decal specialties. Um, you can see the price was 39 cents, originally 59. Whoa, sale. Um, decal specialties also um, branched off or is also the parent company of BJ's specialties that made stickers. This um, is something I made into a sticker. And this is actually a Sandy Lion one from 1985. Uh, printed in Canada. So I forgot I did have my um some vintage ones. I just thought this was cute. 2020 was a dumpster fire year. Um this one's kind of funny. Um I bought a bunch of these from for all my my friends if we have a girl ever have a girls weekends again. Ovaries prefer broveries. Um this is some more miscellaneous ones. This is from a sorority that I was in, our crest and our sticker, Yeti. We know Yeti makes coolers and cups. These are just a bunch of just random miscellaneous ones. If I see a sticker, I grab it. So sorry if that's boring for a lot of you. Rudolph is just a tag, but I mean, I can't resist. That face is so cute. Um, These are from some dispensaries uh, that I didn't go to. Um, This... She is actually um, stickers that my son made back in 2011. Um, just some more, um, you know, miscellaneous ones. And this actually is my last page. So um, just a couple fishing ones. And then I've got plenty of room to, to add in. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around.